best way to get what you want is to give people what they want. Jeff Bezos is worth $160 billion because he's given hundreds of millions of people what they want, whatever product they want around the world, okay? This is also known as adding value. Giving people what they want is adding value, okay? When you wake up every day to add value and you do this consistently over a lifetime, you're gonna get what you want, whether it's with women, whether it's money, whether it's you know, in communications, friendships, new clients, all those good things that you want, it's about adding value to other people, okay? Conning people, manipulation, um, you know, unethical deeds, that's short-term thinking, okay? You might be able to pull the wool over someone in the short term, get a little bit of extra money in the short term, but eventually burn the relationship down in the future because they figure out what you're doing and they dislike you and they don't want to do business with you anymore or your girlfriend finds you cheating and doesn't want to date you anymore. Long-term thinking is building these solid relationships by adding value, giving people what they want, in return, getting what you want. Okay, I'm not saying that every person is gonna give you value back. You have to be careful about screening the right people in your life, you have to be, you know, get the, get the right clients, you have to aim for the right customers. But when you do find the right people, and you do consistently add value, you will get that value returned. And some of the best ways to add value Agreement, amplification, attention, approval, affection, okay? When you're communicating with someone, every time, if possible, remember those five A's and you're gonna have significantly better relationships starting today, okay? Everyone hates being disagreed with, okay? Everyone, all right? The more disagreeable you are, the less people like you. If you don't like someone and you can't quite your, put your finger on like, I don't know why I like that guy, have a thought, okay? Guarantee that guy's disagreeable. And if you're the disagreeable guy, if you're the guy always breaking rapport or playing devil's advocate or telling people what you think, chances are people don't like you and you don't even know it, okay? You should never be surprised when you directly and strongly contradict someone that that's the beginning of an argument or you have a lot of drama in your life or people aren't happy to see you. That's the reason, okay? People want to know that you value their ideas, approve their life choices, and care about them as a person. That's why the five A's are so important. I'm not telling you to lie when you're speaking to someone if they're telling you something you don't agree with. I'm just saying to focus on what you agree with and amplify that to show that you're behind them. And while you're doing that, you're giving them attention, approval, and affection. Okay, Agreement and amplification is a way of showing love. It's a way of showing like I'm on the same page as you. And I'm elevating that idea. I'm elevating your idea. If you're telling me about your future business goals, man, and I'm going to be on page with you, if you're my friend and my client, and I'm going to be elevating that idea, okay? Because I'm showing that I believe in you. Not that I'm lying about it, okay? Not that, it, you know, if you tell me some crazy idea, okay, I'm not going to go right into agreement and amplification on that. I might gently try and steer, you know, either just acknowledge that you said that, or maybe try and gently steer that to maybe a more realistic idea. But that's something that has to be done carefully and it's something you should not do often. It's really only something you should do in certain situations, in certain cases. And if that person's actually important to you, if some stranger's telling me about some wild business idea, you know, I'm just gonna let them speak and, and just acknowledge what they're saying. But I will break rapport in certain cases um, for certain people that I that I care about or that I do business with, okay? So the reason that I talk so much about rapport is, I mean, I, I made a living in sales and I'm telling you, if I broke rapport once or twice with a client, I would lose that deal or I could easily lose that deal. When you're, the sole source of your income depends on people liking you enough to do business with you, you learn on a granular level, how important rapport is. Okay, if you're in IT or you're in engineering and you've never dealt with clients, you might not know that, but I'm telling you from my experience, you can test it out for yourself, that rapport and, and being in agreement and being on the same page is so important and it's, it's the bedrock of everything, okay? 
sex is 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 the ultimate form of rapport all friendships start in rapport all client relationships start in rapport no one wants to be a client of you and give you money if they don't like you and if you're if you're constantly disagreeing with them okay they might have to if they need your service but if there's someone else with a similar service they're going that they like they are going to do business with that guy for sure okay so that's super important to understand people don't value you for being smart and offering feedback okay playing devil's advocate or proving them wrong they value you for how the, how how you make them feel because everything in life is state you're constantly going through these emotional changes throughout the day and you value people that are able to add state to you okay i'm not saying that intelligent and offering intelligent feedback is not valuable i'm saying that the primary value that a person gets from you is how you make them feel Okay, if you're able to offer intelligence and and feedback that's going to make them money, that's going to make them feel happy. But the the core of that is the feeling that they get from you and the feeling they get around you. And if they've got some reason, you know, man, I don't like that guy. I don't know what the reason is. Chances are it's because you're consistently being disagreeable. And it only takes like three or four times, you know. And, you know, if you're meeting someone for the first time and they're disagreeing with you directly three or four times for that person not to like you, maybe seven times over the course of a, you know, a month or something like that, where, you know, your client stops liking you or people stop wanting to hang out with you because they see that hey, every time around, I'm around this guy, he's in disagreement mode. I don't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable expressing my hopes and dreams. I don't feel like he's on the same team as me. I don't feel like he's got my back. Um, all these things, okay, really important stuff. Um, people value for how you make them feel, okay? I make a living off of how I make people feel. Yes, these are all practical self-improvement strategies, but the end goal of those strategies is to allow you to create a lifestyle that makes you consistently happy as possible. And if you don't like me, if you don't want, like watching my videos, which some people don't, you're not going to buy my products. You're not going to um, invest in my coaching, Okay, I make a living off how I make people feel. This whole business is built on the idea that I'm able to not only make people feel good, but give them strategies that are going to make them consistently feel better. Without that, it, business would not exist. Okay, in fact, all businesses would not exist. Even when you buy a product like the smartphone that I'm talking to, you, you buy that. Because that product makes you feel good. You feel happy. You have this new product. You can do all these things. You have all these cool apps to use. You can film. And therefore, you give that company money because of the product that makes you feel. Okay, so businesses are just products and services. And you're not selling those products and services. You're selling the way those products and services make that other person feel. Everything is about the feeling. Okay, as humans... We are not logical. We are emotional creatures. The logic is just used to get us things that give us good feelings. Okay. So important that you understand that because all business is, is salesmanship and communication and sales is just state transference. It's just being able to generate a positive state in yourself and being able to transfer that to your customers and clients. That's the game. All right. This applies to clients, women, family, friends. Like once I started to make a concerted effort to avoid disagreeing with my mom, our relationship got better. We have completely different views on so many things. And I just decided, well, I'm just not going to express those views. Okay, I'm either going to acknowledge what she's saying if I can't find anything to agree with. And if I'm, I can find something to agree with, I'm going to agree and amplify that. Okay, once I mastered agreement and amplification in business, I started making a lot more money in sales. People were a lot happier to talk with me. I'm giving them attention, approval, and affection, okay? And I'm using affection because it starts with a day. I'm not sitting there rubbing my client's back or <laughs> rubbing my friend's back. I save that for the girls in my life, but I'm saying I give them that, that kindness. I, I give them my full attention. I look people in the eye when I'm speaking to them. Um, I give them approval on, on what they're saying and, and validating um, their emotions, validating their ideas, the ones that I agree with. And I amplify that. If I truly disagree with a statement, then I'll, ju I'll just acknowledge that I've received that message, okay? Without needing to just spew out the fact that I disagree with that, all right? 
It's one of the absolute dumbest things you can do. And in fact, it's the number one social sin is breaking rapport and starting off with, I disagree, okay? Socializing is not a debate, okay? People are not going to respect you for your skills to be able to debate them and prove them wrong. In fact, they're going to hate you, especially when you're right, okay? And especially if you do it harshly, all right? There's a time and place to disagree, and there's a, and there's a way to do it, and, and it's gently, and it's with praise, with slight criticism in there followed by praise, okay? But only when it's necessary. All right. Once I decided to put effort into showing my friends attention, approval, and affection, my friendships got better.